If you didn't want a bike path right near your house, you should have bought someplace else. In less than a month, there will be one less way to access the green belt in Garden City, and some people, like the man who you just heard from, aren't happy about it. Good evening. I'm Sheer Matzow. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. And community members have used the pathway on North Plantation River Drive for several decades. And today, Abby Davis talked with people on both sides. Abby, what did they have to say? Well, Shira, this is actually a very controversial is issue, one that doesn't seem like it will resolve itself anytime soon. For more than 30 years, I've always come down here. Keith Durow and many others have used this path between two houses on North Plantation River Drive in Garden City to get on the green belt, but not for much longer. I saw the sign uh, probably four months ago. Announcing people outside of the nearby neighborhood homeowners associations can't use the path after December 1st. Historically, anyone could use it, even though it's on private property. Investors Plantation on the River HOA President Peter Snowden says they made the decision mainly because of increased traffic and irresponsible behavior. We've got 20 homeowners. We pay for this. If there's a big accident here, you know, it's our insurance that's going to go through the roof. There are other ways to get on the green belt close by, but DeRoe and Treasure Valley Cycling Alliance board member Clancy Anderson don't think those options are safe because cyclists will have to navigate a busy road. Trying to get across State Street is, is really dangerous and a nightmare. So this is the most direct safe way uh, for a lot of people, whether you're uh, in Northwest Boise, trying to get to downtown, or you're in Garden City, even getting over to uh, Georgia's Cycle or Blue Sky Bagels. Although Snowden agrees State Street could be better. It is not a very safe bikeway. He says the HOA won't change its mind about the path. We pay insurance on it. We pay for the maintenance of it. It's ours. Under our HOA documents, we can do whatever we want with it. Anderson says the Treasure Valley Cycling Alliance put out a survey about the upcoming closure and its impacts. They got more than 500 responses. That survey is still open if you want to comment. The Homeowners Association also has a website, lot99.org, for people wanting to learn more about why they made this decision. Shira. Yeah, and we'll be sure to have that at ktvb.com as well. All right, thanks, Abby.